It's been over a year since the last time we had an update on Rocket League Unreal Engine 5. It started with Devin's comment on Reddit confirming that they were actually working on an Unreal Engine version of the game after it was leaked in that post. A comment from Corey says, We're not ready to share timelines about the overall project, but we have goals to start testing next year. Again, this was posted last year, so next year refers to 2022, of which it is now November, and we haven't heard anything. Now, I'm not really complaining because, you know, it's not like we're waiting for a brand new release. We have Rocket League already. We can play it just fine. We're just kind of hoping for that first real update on the game. This one is an update, but it's not something that they wanted to officially say if we had never discovered it in that post or if they had never posted it, this comment probably would have never been made. But that's the last time we've heard anything. So since we have not had an update, I decided I would share some ideas and thoughts I had on things that could be in the new game. Or update, because they said they don't know if it's going to be a new game or a new patch. We'll have to wait and see. Got all my cool ideas in a spreadsheet. Hold on, let me get that open. <clears throat> Starting with the first one, a more newbie-friendly environment. You know, something like improved training packs or things that tell the player about the mechanics in the game because they're a huge part of the game, like the flip reset. Rocket League acknowledges that that exists, but it has never been once stated in the game. It's kind of just assumed that you'll figure out what that is. I just want them to create some kind of thing that is set in the game to where people don't have to go outside of the game to, you know, study on how to do a mechanic, watch a video or something. Although those are helpful, I would like them to present these mechanics and, you know, just talk about them somehow in the game so that people are aware of them. I think it would greatly increase, you know, attention span to the game, I guess you would call it. Because a lot of the time, I'll, I'll bring someone into Rocket League and they're like, oh, this is too hard, how do you do this? And it's probably due to the fact that they don't know how the game works in a lot of ways, which, you know, that's the case for any new game that you play, but it, it'd really just be nice to have some thing in the game where new players can go and learn about all the mechanics in the game and maybe, you know, practice them somehow in a training pack created by Sonics or by pros or something. That would be cool. A more newbie-friendly environment, again, to get more of those new players to stay. And then second, really big on this one, capability for lots more custom content, i.e. creative mode. Something like the workshop on Steam, but better. Something that has its own section in the game, its own menus, its own servers maybe, where you can even play with your friends. They could even do something like featured creations, so somebody will make something, it gets really popular in the community, some kind of system where people can vote on something and then it gets featured as, you know, a map in casual play or in some other mode. And then custom LTMs, not made by Psyonix, but made by people who went into creative mode and created a game mode. Something like the featured stuff, they would feature that LTM. And then I have one more thing in this, something a little more iffy in terms of extra content, like custom. I have to plug in my headset, it's almost dead. But, you know, like custom car cosmetics, we saw with Alpha Console and Bacchus Mod, where you can put your own decals on the car and create your own wheels or whatever. Something like that, but officially in the game where you can go in and model your own stuff, or maybe not model, but somehow create a skin of your own. And just in general, we need more potential for creativity in the game because it's really not that great at the time of recording this, which is November 4th, where you have to use UDK editor to make a map and then it's really hard to even play that map on the Epic Games version of the game because they don't have the workshop feature. Really great. <clears throat> it's just really complicated to do custom content right now in the game and it's 
it definitely needs to get improved in the new version. And I actually, I, I, the reason I'm so big on custom content improvement in the game is because whenever I went to RLCS earlier this year, back in August, I met, you know, just like so many content creators and so many people that I thought were really, really inspiring. And that's actually why I started making videos. <laughs> Got a few pictures of the guys that I met at RLCS. I've even got a hat that I got signed by a bunch of them in my closet. Look at that baby, you got Rettles, there's Musty. You get the point. It was really cool to meet all those people and it was really inspiring to me to the point where I wanted to start making content of my own. And that is why I am so heavily supportive of the idea of greater capability for custom content in Unreal Engine 5 Rocket League. Now the third thing I want to go over is less with custom content but more with the content that is playable in the game now. So better, you know, just kind of overall better playlist functionality. A simple example of that would be how you have to currently go in between the regular modes and the extra modes. You can't select them all at the same time when you're doing a multi-select. I think there should just be a big screen that shows every mode that you can play just in certain areas of the screen. So you'll have in one column, you'll have the regular modes in another column, you'll have your extra modes and then custom games like private matches, land matches, workshop, not creative mode. That should be in its own screen. And they need more standard modes, I think. Like they have ones, twos, threes, and they've got chaos. But I just really don't like the fact that extra modes are only ranked. I feel like it kind of puts a little bit more toxicity into the casual perspective of things. You know, you're never gonna get past the one guy that complains in every game mode about how his teammates suck and how he's never seen a worse player in the game. But yeah, I also think there should be more extra modes too. Like we have Rumble, Hoops, Drop Shot, and Snow Day right now, but we need to have Heat Seeker, maybe Boomer Mode, Rumble, Drop Shot. One big extra mode that we need, or maybe it's in its own new category of game modes, Knockout. Knockout was so fun, but they haven't brought it back yet for some reason. I don't know if it's because they're doing a bunch of experimenting, trying to figure out how to fix it or how to make it better, because it does feel kind of clunky compared to the regular game. The flipping mechanics are definitely different. The driving and the boosts are definitely different. You'll be able to tell that if you just go in. Well, you can't just go in. You'd have to download a bunch of mods to even play the mode right now, but yeah, it's, it's a lot different from the regular game. I want to see that come back. Instead of having the four or standard modes and then having a bunch of random LTMs rotating very inconsistently, I might add. We should have, you know, a whole list of all the extra modes that we can play at the same time because it's really frustrating to have to go into like some kind of online community and ask people if they want to play Heat Seeker because it's not a public playlist. I mean, it, it was an LTM recently as a part of the Haunted Hallows event, I think, because it was featured on Farmstead Spooky, but that doesn't count. That's Heat Seeker shouldn't be an LTM, it's a game mode, just like Rumble and Drop Shot. But in terms of actual LTMs, like custom third wheel or whatever garbage that was, they should have more fun stuff, smaller game modes like that, rotating throughout, you know, every week or every other week. Because those game modes, a lot of the time, I just like hopping in casual, queuing up for whatever game mode is in there and having a good time. Of course, some game modes are going to be super different and not as fun, but, you know, it's fun to just throw them out there and experiment a little bit. Let people just see what different modes look like. And they don't even have to be custom modes in the sense that you just changed a couple of mutators. It can be something completely different and, you know, maybe have that LTM transition into an extra mode if it's different enough from the actual game of soccer. And th this next one, number four, kind of ties in with the creative mode function a little bit. If they're going to do something like a creative mode, they should have some way where you can play with your friends, obviously, or some way to connect your, your game to someone else's multiplayer. They need multiplayer in a sense that is not queuing up in the casual playlist or the competitive playlists and playing against other people. Something like in Fortnite, they have a creative mode and you can invite your friends to that island. I unplugged my headset again. 
I mean, Fortnite is a pretty good example of a creative mode, but it'd be a lot different in Rocket League, obviously. I know Lethemir did something recently with the Haunted Hallows Escape. Psyonix reached out to him, and he grabbed a couple of friends, and they made this whole cool thing. I think it was really, really cool to see something like that in Rocket League, and it was exciting that Psyonix actually reached out to them to make that. But I think they need capability for other kinds of multiplayer, like kind of kind of how Minecraft does it where you have your multiplayer screen and you can you there's no multiplayer servers there whenever you first start the game but you you connect to IPs you can connect to dedicated servers and other stuff of the sort but it's all in one area it's all in one list another example of that would be Gary's mod you can just go to find game and there's just a whole list of public lobbies so you have your playlists you have your tournaments you have your creative mode but there should also be like a list where you can go and play on a server. First party capability for dedicated servers is what I called it. Because right now if you want to play with your friends in a lobby where you can mod the game, make the ball size different, change your cars, put crazy rumble on, stuff like that. If you want to do that right now, you have to download Bacchus Mod, you have to download some other third party plugin or mod, and then you have to get... I know with Bacchus Mod, you have to download that and then rocket plug in and then you have to get your friends IP and then they have to set up the server and then all that stuff and then you can connect. I think they just need to make that a little easier because it's definitely something that would make the game more attractive, I feel. Whenever I made my last video with the boost stuff, I tried to get people who weren't in that video to test with me and they just were like, I don't want to download a bunch of stuff. I just want to play the game. I also just want to play the game, not have to download a bunch of third-party software to play with my friends. Please, I'm begging you. It would make content so much easier. And the fifth one, just a better car customization system and a better inventory system. You know, I saw this one really cool post on Reddit where this guy showed how he had all the different paints of, I think it was Neural Network, and he showed an icon up in the top left of the regular one. He just put a bunch of different colors on it to where if you have a bunch of different paints of the same item, it'll show up as the same thing, but you can choose which paint you have without it taking up all that inventory space. I thought that was really cool, and that should definitely be a thing. Psyonix, please. And as well as that, a color picker for your primary car color and your secondary car color. It's super annoying to have a painted item that you really like that you can't match with a car color because it's just not there, and it's just barely off. Why am I not able to just choose what color I want my car to be through a color picker? You can do that in Sideswipe, although the color system in Sideswipe is not as good because you can't have white accents. It's only colors, but the color customization needs some improvement. And along with better color customization, I think we should get custom painted colors. You can unlock, you know, a paint and you can have some sort of system where you get a paint bucket and you have to use credits to buy a certain color paint, like a color picker. You just pick a color and then you pay like, you know, 50 credits to paint that item or 100 credits. If you do this, please don't make it like 2,000. Nobody wants to pay 2,000 credits or $20 for an item in a game. I was gonna say something about the trading system, but it does have to do with it being reduced. And a way they could do that is having a better item shop, you know, instead of having one rotating shop where you have a certain set of items that are all garbage, you can go in like the eSports shop to a certain category of item, select which one you want, and then like I was talking about earlier with the custom paints, you can choose a paint that you want for that item, and boom, you have that item. Now the reason I just didn't talk about the trading system is because if they did something like this, it would probably kill trading. Like. 99% of the way, <laughs> nobody would trade for anything anymore. Unless it's an item that is not obtainable through the shop. Trading would still be good for, you know, like the alpha, alpha, alpha items, alpha items, the white hat, any other thing that's, you know, was limited time, like an RLCS drop. But I really want to see a better shop, better car customization, better paints, just overall a revamp of the inventory and customization system because right now it's not very good. And the last thing I want to talk about is the lack of server locations. So I live in I live in the middle of the United States. I don't live on the east or the west. So I'm constantly getting mid ping anywhere I play. If I connect to east, I get 40 ping. If I connect to the west, I get 40 ping. I need a server location 
that is in the middle of the United States or at the bottom or the top because I just can't, you know, go to the other side of the country to connect to the game. Why don't you bring the servers to more locations? Like, I know in Valorant they have servers for specific cities in Texas. Like, big cities. And there's multiple in Texas. And there's multiple in other states. Rocket League has two major server locations for the country of the United States. Like, that's not enough. You need servers in every state. Or at least, if not in every state, more than two that are on the ends of the nation. Because there are people in the middle. <laughs> I don't know about other countries, how bad the servers are there or how good they are, because other countries are different sizes and I also don't live there, but more server locations, please.